Welcome to Tech Brothers Adame. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert Parquet file to CSV file in Azure Data Factory. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here I'm in uh, Azure portal and I have a blob storage right there. So then go to container there and I have input the container. So now I have this uh, file called the output customer.parquet. Let's uh, click on that one and uh, we can take a look, click on edit and uh, you can see that uh, this is Parquet file. You can see that we can't really read uh, this whole lot of data here, so we are fine now. What we need to do, we need to read this file and convert to the CSV. So what we are going to do here, we are going to open our Azure Data Factory. In the Azure Data Factory, we are going to open an, uh, this tab and call the new pipeline. So we are creating a new pipeline in which we will be reading the Parquet file and writing to the CSV file. Now let's go to source here and uh, hit new, and uh, here we will select uh, Azure blob storage uh, because that's where our file is uh, sitting now. Now we'll select uh, the format called the parquet. Now right there, hit continue. Now there are a couple of options you have here. You can create a new linked service or uh, already use the existing one. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. Now. So in the, this case, uh, maybe I will just leave this name as your blob storage too. That's fine. And then select my storage. Um, now test the connection and uh, our linked service uh, is uh, ready. Now what we need to do, we need to go to the input folder or container and select our Parquet file. So select that file and uh, we are all good here. Now hit OK and uh, now what we can do, we can go to the preview data and uh, it is showing us the data in a well format. Um, so you can see that it is uh, showing us ID, first name, last name. Uh, so this editor, when uh, it reads the Parquet file, it uh, shows you data in very well row and column format. That's good. And now what we are going to do, we are going to go to the sync here. And then in the sync, uh, we are going to create a new data set. Uh, we are going to select Azure Blob Storage. As my other container is also in the same um, Blob Storage, so that's fine. So I will be using the same uh, linked service. Uh, here we will select uh, the same uh, CSV file because I would like to create a new CSV file. And in the link service, we are going to use the Azure Blob Story 2. That's our link service. Now here, select the container. In this case, we are going to create a file in the output container. Now hit uh, all right. Uh, okay. uh, let's say first row has header, yes. And then we hit OK. Now what we are going to do here, click on Open. And here we will provide the file name. So I'm going to call it a customer.csv file. OK, so that's our output file name. So now our uh, pipeline is ready and here uh, our uh, source is uh, Parquet source uh, and uh, our uh, sync is uh, our delimited file, uh, CSV file. Uh, we can go ahead and debug. It should read the Parquet file and uh, then create the CSV file for us. Uh, our pipeline has been completed successfully. You can go right here, take a look. So it uh, files read one, total row, rows read four and the written rows four. So this looks good. Let's go back and take a look on the uh, file itself. Um, so this was our Parquet file that we don't need to look. We, we're going to go back to our blob storage here, go to the output folder container, and then uh, go to the customer.csv file. Click right there and go to the edit. And we can see that uh, we have uh, ID, F name, and L name. So our CSV file is uh, ready. So this is how you will read the data from Parquet file and uh, convert to the CSV file. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.